everyone, Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. And I want to welcome you to our Three Minute Thursday, where we take three minutes and unpack an idea or a subject from the Bible. Today we're going to unpack the idea of sin. What is sin? How does sin apply to our life? And just kind of define it for us. But before we get started, let me take a minute and ask you to go ahead and like this video, give us a thumbs up, go ahead and check the bell or click the bell so that you're reminded of every time we post a new video. And don't forget, make a comment if it's blessed you, all right? So three minutes on sin. What is sin? Uh, before I kind of get into really a definition, I want to read a couple of passages. 1 John chapter 3, verses 4 through 6 says, Whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness, and sin is lawlessness. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him there is no sin. Whoever abides in him abides, does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him or know him. Now the complete Jewish Bible kind of breaks it down just a little bit. I want to read this to you. Everyone who has this hope in him continues to purify himself, since God is pure. That's verse 3. Verse 4 says, everyone who keeps sinning is violating Torah. Indeed, Sin is violation of Torah. You know that he appeared in order to take away sin and that there is no sin in him. So no one who remains united with him continues sinning. Everyone who does continue sinning has neither seen him nor knows him. What is sin? Well, in sin's probably the simplest definition that you can give is that sin is violating God's law or God's Torah. See, the Torah isn't all about the law, but there's instructions and teachings in there. Uh, by the de Bible's definition, sin is lawlessness, or it's breaking the law. But what law? Well, it's God's law. And, uh, and God, God's law defines for us what is good and what's not good for us. It defines for us how we worship Him, how we shouldn't worship Him. Matter of fact, the two areas that connect that connects to our life is and how we conduct our life is about how we connect with Him and how we connect with other people. Like, for instance, the first four commandments deal with how do we connect with God. It's about loving God. It's about honoring the Sabbath. It's about taking the name of the Lord in vain. It's about not worshiping false idols. And then that's about relationship with Him. And then the rest of the uh, Ten Commandments found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, the next six commandments deal with what? deal with dealing with others and how we are to love others. The first command, two commandments that Jesus gives us, and really the most important, are love God with all our heart, soul, and strength, and to love others as we love ourselves. When we violate those two commands, the Bible calls it sin, and sin needs to be paid for. Sin by itself, God tells us that we should aim to hit that target. What is the target? Well, if missing the, if sin is missing the target, which a lot of people know it, but what's hitting the target? Hitting the target is doing what God has asked us to do. See, there are ways that we honor God. There are ways that we dishonor God. When we hit the target, that's his Torah. That's his instruction. That's his teaching. That's not sin. That's actually doing what we're supposed to do. But sometimes we do miss the target. That's why we needed Jesus. We needed Jesus because of sin. Sin is missing the mark. And here's the great thing. Jesus never missed the mark. He loves you. He has a plan and a purpose for you. And so if you have areas in your life where you have missed the mark, you have sinned, you've broken God's law, don't run away from Him. Run towards Him because sin does separate us from our Heavenly Father, but His grace draws us back to Him. I love you guys. I hope you understand a little bit more about sin. I'll see you on the next one. God bless you. Keep pressing in.